Well, my name is Dan Donkers, and I am the volunteer coordinator at the Salvation Army Gateway of Hope. We are a homeless shelter and community meal center. On any given night, we have between 60 and 80 people sleeping in our building. Uh, we feed three meals a day to our shelter guests, and we also open up our kitchen every lunchtime to the community uh, to serve community meals. And we also provide family services, uh, outreach programs like school supplies, taxes, uh, food hampers to people in the community as well. Our team's impact on the community, I think, is just in caring for people who are in need. Uh, obviously, the homeless population, we try to give them shelter, we try to give them food. Uh, our staff serve as case managers, trying to help them along uh, to a healthier place in life. Uh, and then we also just try to help with things like food security, um, poverty, there's different needs that people in the community have. Uh, we found, you know, if there's a need that comes up, we'll try to jump and jump in and help. For example, over COVID, we were we did extra food hampers for families whose kids weren't getting fed at school anymore because they were home. So uh, we try to also just to jump in wherever we can and serve needs in the community. Today we are at the Salvation Army and uh, I'm working on the windows right now. So we have got different teams, people are working on different stuff. Some people are working in the kitchen, some people are uh, washing the vehicles. So I decided to help with the windows and uh, as not going pretty well. I think success for us looks like just helping somebody along in their journey. Um, you know, moving them out of a place of homelessness. Uh, some, a lot of people in our shelter will move upstairs to what we call our opportunities program and find, uh, find their footing and, and move out into market housing. Volunteers are really the engine that drives what we do. Uh, we have paid staff, we have professional people that run our programs, but we could not do anything we do without volunteers in our kitchen. Um, is, is one of the key areas. I'd say 90% of our volunteers are kitchen volunteers and that kitchen would not run without them. Uh, same with our shelter and our front office, different areas where we have people serving and giving their time and it just helps us do what we do and whenever we do our outreach programs they are driven uh, by volunteers. We have lots of volunteer opportunities. Uh, again, our kitchen is the main one. We always are accepting help in our kitchen, but we also take people in our shelter, helping serve our guests uh, in there. Uh, we take people in our office. We take donation pickup drivers. Uh, and then we also have special events. Uh, we take volunteers for our golf tournament, uh, for our different outreach events, as well as our kettle campaign, which is one of our biggest fundraisers of the year, uh, six weeks over the Christmas uh, season, where we need tons of volunteers to help us fundraise for our programs. So those are some of the areas that we, we always are welcoming volunteers. If I were to ever be homeless, I'd want to have a place to help. So I needed to know what kind of help is really out there. Yeah, day in the life of a volunteer. Most of our volunteers do once a week, uh, and they'll come in. Uh, we, you know, we help them get settled, park their vehicle, uh, things like that. And uh, for example, in the kitchen, they would come in, and once someone's volunteered twice, two or three times, they kind of know the routine. So they come in, they get themselves set up, they sign in. Uh, we always track hours just in case people need reference uh, with applying for school or jobs or things like that. Uh, and then they just get to work, you know, and they always. What I hear most from our volunteers is they love working with the team, they love working with the staff, and they just enjoy giving, you know? So you're really just engaged in the work, you're chopping vegetables, you're making sandwiches, things like that, and then you get to serve to our, our guests and interact with them, and you also get a break and you get to eat when you're in the kitchen, which is nice, uh, and then, you know, clean up and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of in the kitchen and other areas, you know, you come, same thing, you get set up, you sign in, just kind of serve with a team. You're never kind of doing it on your own, so that's really nice as well. And um, yeah, everyone I talk to, they just always really enjoy that experience. You know, I think there is nothing in nothing better in the world than to help someone, and I think that's what everyone should do. And I think that's what makes us human, right?
quality to look for in volunteers are mostly just people who are willing, people who are willing to give the time, people who want to be here uh, and want to serve. One of the things that they talked about when we came in here was they served over 180,000 meals over the year. Um, so, you know, small part being here one day, but uh, very had to help out in that too. I I, as the volunteer coordinator, try to make it as easy as possible for someone to come and volunteer. Uh, they can check out our website, www.gatewayofhope.ca, or they can uh, give us a call, it's 514-7375, sorry, 604-514-7375, uh, and um, you know, there's an application process, very easy to do. Uh, I usually meet with the new volunteer and try, try to figure out with them what works best for their schedule, where they can fit.